Hello everyone, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. People have asked us to do a haul video to showcase all the stuff we've bought at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And we've bought a lot of stuff because yeah. we, we went to Galaxy's Edge before it even opened at the press preview. Uh, we actually, when they were doing reservations, I think we went eight times during that. I'll show you a <laughs> shot of our wristbands right here. Yeah. Track. I think we've gone like 15 times, maybe more. Yeah. We've gone on both coasts. We spent a lot of money. How much did we spend and what did we buy? Come with us. On this adventure. <laughs> the first thing that we bought in Galaxy's Edge, and honestly, the most important thing, is this Ewok. Just kidding, this is our dog Gizmo. You might recognize him from some other videos. We'll put his Instagram account on the screen here if you want to follow him. Yeah. Um, no, for real, the first thing we bought was this lightsaber. Uh, as you might recall, I made a lightsaber. It cost about $250 to build a lightsaber. I did the elemental lightsaber. This is probably the best thing I've ever bought in all of Disneyland. I have it hanging on my wall. It comes with a blade. It comes with a sheath, although I did upgrade the sheath for another $50. It's just so awesome. It's custom. It's something I created it, it is a memory of one of my first visits to Batu. I think that experience even though it's like $215 it's unforgettable. I so. agree. One day I'll make one. Yeah. Do you guys want to see her make one? Leave a comment below and tell us. That wasn't the only lightsaber that we purchased oh, in Galaxy's no. Edge. I, I went a little crazy. We purchased three legacy lightsabers. We have Darth <laughs> Vader's, we have Luke's, and we have Ray's. Uh, and they come in these containers which are kind of cool. Uh, you press this, it opens up, and has a, like a nice little display case for the lightsaber. And this is Vader's. This is probably my favorite saber, and I think it's probably the most detailed. And these sabers run anywhere from like 110 to almost $200. So it's cheaper than the builder sabers. You can put in the actual blade here and, and light it up. You can't change the kyber crystals. The one downside, it's whatever color it is. So obviously Vader's going to be red, and you can't change that. The customizable lightsaber, you could change it, so. These display things are kind of cool and I was going to keep them. They are, I wish they were metal, they're plastic. Uh, but I did find on Etsy, there is this guy that sells these lightsaber hangers. So that lightsaber display is on this wall right here. Uh, and I, I'm gonna probably have to get more of these because they, you know, I'm gonna get more lightsabers. But I highly recommend this. I'll, I'll put a link to the guy that makes them. He 3D prints them and look at this. Uh, it actually goes on right here, and it's pretty heavy duty. I gotta yeah, paint that. Yeah, what happened there? Yeah, I had to move it. Okay. <laughs> but um, but I highly recommend it. It's a cool way to display your lightsabers. Yes, I agree. Right next to this other gun thing that we have here, District Nine. I think this looks quite nice. And I'm sure we'll be adding at least like three more to our collection. One of the cool things about this version of the Legacy lightsaber for Luke is it actually has the screen accurate. Uh, top, which is actually not something you put a lightsaber uh, blade into, but underneath they actually have one that you can screw on so that it can actually light up with a blade. It's a little bit thicker. Usually you have to choose between do you want the screen accurate or do you want the one that can accommodate a blade. Here they give you both. I did adopt a creature. This is the one thing that I wanted and I got it. Quacky monkey, was Quacky, it? Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's a tongue tie. His name is Slacious B. Crumb. I haven't uh, renamed him yet, but I have made an Instagram account for him. Uh, if you guys want to follow that, we'll put it on the screen here. But I do plan in the future to start bringing him more and uh, taking fun photos of him all around Disneyland and other places. And these are like the, the Avatar Banshees where it comes with a controller. He can talk. He can move his head. <laughs> yeah. I love him so, so much. And we've just been like having him sat on our shelf. Yeah. And he honestly makes a great little display. Yeah. If you don't want an elf on the shelf for Christmas, have a salacious. There we go. Way better. <laughs> it should be mentioned, if you're going to build a lightsaber, or if you're even going to buy a legacy lightsaber, you might want to wear it around by two. And if you want to do that, you're going to want to get yourself one of these little bad oh, boys. Yeah. This and this basically, you put on a, put on your belt. And it clips right in, and uh, you can actually walk around the land uh, with your lightsaber hanging. $17.99. Well worth it. You can get this little display stand. 
It's twenty four ninety nine. It's not the easiest thing to use because it has these like little plastic things that hold up the lightsaber, and it's a little a bit janky. This thing's heavy. It's yeah. metal. Uh, you don't want to drop it for sure. Although I have dropped it, and it still works. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you did drop it. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> that was traumatizing. When you're in Batu, you want to go to Oga's. You want to get yourself a drink. And we got yeah. some drinks. By the way, we're going to put links throughout this video of like our times in Galaxy Stitch. We've done so many videos. And one of the times is we went drinking. But we got these awesome collectible mugs. And this one was called the Yub Nub. Yeah, that comes with an alcoholic drink. Although, pro tip. You can get any drink in any one of these mugs, even yeah. if you get the Rancor too. So you can, if you don't like beer like me, you could get like cider. You can get. Oh, like, I actually didn't know that. Yes, yeah. and that's forty-two dollars for the Yub Nub, and thirty-two dollars for the Cliff Dweller. One of the reasons why we got these, besides that they're awesome collectibles, is that they're also first edition. So they have this one. The Porg mug has slightly changed since we got it. It's a little bit smaller now. So I think it's really fun that we have the original first edition Porg mug that you're never going to see again. Yeah. If you're in the marketplace, you'll see a woodworker and he's carving a Porg out of a piece of wood. And that's actually what this is right here. This is a yeah. reproduction of that. So in story, in the world of Galaxy's Edge, that woodworker is creating the mugs that you buy in Ogus. This is the Battle of Endor yeah. on, on this mug. I'm wondering if we're going to get other like tiki glasses yeah. to celebrate other famous battles in the yeah. Star Wars universe. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. gonna be fun to collect. <laughs> One of the popular items in Batu is the blue and green milk. And in case you didn't know, you could get it in this souvenir cup. This is the Booba Wamba Family Farm souvenir cup. It lights up. On one side, it's got the creature that gives you the green milk. On the other side, it's got the creature that gives you the blue milk. Yeah. So, you know. So you've eaten a lot of food and drink mm -hmm. within Galaxy's Edge. We have not kept track of all that. So we're not going to be adding this into the total that you see here. Yeah. This um, is strictly just... Oh, it looks really cool at night. Yeah, can, walking around. Yeah. And, and, and you can also put it, put it around your... Yes. Very fashionable. Fashionable. As a necklace. Makes it easier to carry. I stopped collecting these because... I mean, I, I just threw them away. But at first I was collecting all these... <laughs> coca-cola cans which are served in thermal detonator yeah. like bottles this isn't even this is probably like one third of the amount that you've actually bought i'm yeah. assuming we're 550 now they're six bucks yeah i am kind of disturbed that some of these still have liquid in them peter what is going on no don't no, do no. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably from like here's April. the question though do we need five of these diet coke I don't know. We'll probably throw that at yeah. some point. <laughs> this is a cool item right here that was featured in our Ridiculous Items. Uh, you might remember in Star Wars The Force Awakens, Poe Dameron met with Lor San at the beginning of that movie, and he got this thing. This thing is the data drive that has the map to find Luke Skywalker. Um, it has a map of the galaxy. And it actually is a USB key. I haven't really used it as a USB key. Uh, although it is interesting that they did put some screenshots from the movie of, you know, that scene where they actually unlock the map to show where Luke Skywalker is. Mm -hmm. They they have some screenshots of that nice. part of the film. I, I like that it comes with uh, a proper replica of Poe's bag of the uh, device too, and that was like thirty thirty four ninety nine. I'm not sure it's worth it for as a data key as a USB key, but it's cool to have on the shelf. <laughs> a fun free souvenir that you could get in Galaxy's Edge is when you go to Oga's Cantina, they have these collectible coasters. We have three of the designs. Each time you go in, you're not quite sure which one they're going to give you. Yeah. We have the Ewok. Yeah, my favorite is the Ewok. Yeah. That one right there is the best yeah. design. And all of them have on the back the logo for Oga's Cantina. And you're saying free, you have to buy a drink. But if you actually ask the bartender. Yeah, if you so. just go up to the bartender and yeah. say you need one, they'll give you one. Speaking of free, or at least a tremendous deal, they they sell this currency. It's ancient Batu currency. It's called Spira. It's based on the spy, uh, spires. Um, it's these like gold-like things. And what they actually are is they are actually gift cards that you can scan. You have to spend at least $100 to get one of these. But you can spend the $100 and you end up with a free souvenir 
after you spend the, I mean, you're going to spend the hundred bucks anyways, right? So you may as well get something. In our something. case, yes. <laughs> yes, you will spend that hundred bucks. As a matter of fact, you'll spend it twice. <laughs> At Doc Ondar's, you can buy kyber crystals to change the color of your lightsaber. Uh, they sell a bunch of different colors. I got green when I built my lightsaber. So in my first go around, I got a purple, a white, a red, yellow, and blue. That makes the full range of the, the kyber crystals. But that's what, they're little plastic uh, things. And I, I know you're saying you haven't gotten them all. I haven't gotten the black kyber crystal. Kyber crystal challenge is still going on. Uh, <laughs> I will eventually get it. I'm not going to count all the red kyber crystals we've been buying into this total. This is Rex. This is DJ Rex, everybody. He's here to rock the galaxy. He's actually a Bluetooth speaker. And I believe he was $150. Yes. Comes with a little remote control. This was also one of those items that like, as soon as they they like released images of the merch for Galaxy Oz, we knew that this was something we had to get. You can use them as Bluetooth speaker. We haven't done that. We haven't done that yet. He's battery powered, so I'm not sure you'd want to do that. But he can actually move around. We should show that like... Uh... Yeah, just like the other droids you see. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Yeah, he, he's awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't trust him to pilot you anywhere, but um, he, he's a good DJ. I want to paint him like the old Captain Rex. I like him the way he is. I say if you want to paint one, you'll have to buy another one and paint that because... <sighs> it's getting costly. And I, I do want to plug, if you go to Spotify or iTunes, Apple Music, whatever, there is an Oga's Cantina uh, playlist that has 18 of the songs that they play inside of Oga's Cantina. We, we did a whole video by our other droid. Yes. We'll quickly show him. Yeah. But, but I will say there is some differences from that video because Peter actually did start painting him. Yeah, as you, you remember, I bought this decal sheet and put these decals on him and it didn't look well. It looked good. They were falling off. Uh, now he has some some green paint. I'll, we'll show some close-ups here. And there's yeah. even um, some paint details inside. I've done some weathering as well on like, um, like it looks like he's been scratched up and stuff. It, it's... It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. I, I like him. him though. Yeah, me too. Like, we bought a personality chip, which yeah. I think I recommend. Yes. Uh, the only accessory I would say that you need to get is a personality chip. Check out our, our video building the droid because it was a very, very fun time. One of the other cool things that I was excited to buy in Galaxy's Edge at the Toydarian Toy Maker is the Game of Sabacc. It comes in a small, nice box. The cards. Why haven't we played this yet? We gotta play it. The dice are here, so it's not Han Golden Sabacc dice, although you can buy that in Galaxy's Edge. The only thing I wanna complain about here is the backs of these cards have the Toydarian uh, Toy Maker logo on it. I, I wish it was just screen accurate props for me. When you build your lightsaber, they give you a exclusive pin that is based on whichever uh, discipline you choose. I chose Elemental. The never-ending bag of stuff. We got some park maps. These are the exclusive park maps that like had some special finish on them from when it opened. These are like, I forgot how much stuff we got. But it's a mission patch that shows the Millennium Falcon. And I like how it's like kind of in universe. I have not decided what to put it on yet. And it is probably one of the cheaper things I've bought here. It's $9.99. Another cheap item that I bought, this one is 20 bucks. And this is a book of uh, postcards and it has some cool art. It's like kind of like planets and ships and stuff from around the galaxy. So, uh, some of my uh, favorite artists did some of these postcards. It, it's very cool art and a really cheap way to take art home. Another thing you can buy for really cheap, I think it's like two or three bucks, is this bag which says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is like your classic Mickey ears, except it's a little droid. It lights up, it makes noises. There's a few different modes you could have it on. Uh, you could have it just, oh, okay, buddy. You could have it <laughs> where it just lights up or you could have it where it talks or you could just turn it off. So uh, I love it. I think it's really adorable. They also have a BB-8 one. So good. Speaking of R2, one of the first things I ended up buying in the land is this bowl. It's a stainless steel bowl. I think it was like it was expensive. 70 bucks, it but it is uh, really heavy duty. This is like like really heavy. 
yeah. uh, durable, and I'm going to use it. I don't know. We're going to put like, I guess we, we're on a diet, so we don't put candy around, but we're going to put it to put something in there. We could have put our Halloween candy in there. We could have put our Halloween there. candy from the Oogie Boogie Bash. Um, I wasn't sold on it at first because it is very, very expensive, but I definitely think it was worth it. This was $26, and it is a ornament. Yeah, it's a little Batu ornament. It has the falcon. It has, looks like Oga's Cantina. has the black spire. I don't think they celebrate Christmas in Batu, but I'm glad that they make something for us off planet. Yeah, that they're going to have us tourists to buy when we're there. I, I, wanna, I mentioned before that the lightsabers, when you get, build a lightsaber in uh, Savi's workshop, they do give you a sheath that you can carry it around with. Uh, I kept them bringing the lightsaber back to Batu to get like those lightsaber at night shots and stuff like that. And it quickly was getting destroyed. They sell this other one that has like all these pockets and stuff. It has a, an Arabesh, it has, it, I think it says like force wielder or something. So I guess if you're, you know, someone who uses the force, you wouldn't want to be seen uh, yeah. this round. Why do you want to be whatever. walking around Batu <laughs> with that? Like if the stormtroopers see you, they're obviously going to know that something fishy is going on. Yeah, but I like how it has this like fake leather detail and stuff like that. It's it, it's heavy duty, and I brought it back to the park a couple times. You know, I, I do want to show some stuff that we bought off world. There it goes. Um, there's more. There's some on a, through unofficial back. Uh, yeah, back alley. Dealers. Yeah, back alley dealings. We got these name tags. These are the name tags that they have in in Galaxy in Batu. It's a little bit different. But yeah, it's, it's like of... the cast member name tags that you yeah. see all the Disneyland employees wearing. I have not added up this total. How much do you think? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, we haven't... Let me just give me... Actually, before she says, go down to the comments right now. Write down the, the amount that you think we spent in Galaxy's Edge. Uh, before I put it on screen, take your guess. Don't cheat. Go do it now. How much do you think we've spent... I'm going to say $999. Higher. Oh, you have it already? Yo, you already calculated it? Yeah. Oh my God, higher? Yeah. Are you counting every single one of these? No, I didn't I didn't count those, and I didn't count our hotel stay. I didn't count our annual <laughs> yeah. pass. I didn't count the food, <laughs> the, the gas drinks. that it takes to drive there. Yeah, I didn't count any of that. Oh so my gosh, okay. The only food I counted is the the three higher drinks. than nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. The answer is thirteen twenty four seventy seven by my calculation. Now, by the way, some of these prices have changed since we went they've actually gone up so it's actually oh worth God. more than that now but um but that's the price that we paid uh for all the stuff uh, we had a fun time <laughs> we have all this cool yeah. stuff we do that's that's a lot <laughs> what was that oh the video's over Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Yeah, if you want to see some of our other Galaxy's Edge videos, I'll put a playlist of it right here. And we have a ton of uh, oh, stuff. You don't, yeah. You're not going to want to miss it because we have a lot of tips and tricks. And, uh, and just... we're going to keep going back. So you want to subscribe if you want to see us continue yeah. to go to Galaxy's Edge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next adventure.